People have read it who have been in a coma for a long period of time. What news really shocked you when you found out what happened? My husband was in coma for four weeks. Lots of brain darnage. He woke up to a full wall documenting our relation. Trips. Wedding pics of our kids. The two kids scared the garbage out of him this year but he remembered me. I was in a coma for 2.5 months in 2015 when I was 27 following a serious car accident. When I woke up I still had a tracheotomy and couldn't speak. I don't remember a darn thing from the time I was in a coma but what blew my mind is when I woke up my new boyfriend at the time was standing there with my parents and they were chatting to each other like they knew each other. I am a super private and had made every effort for them to not even know of him so I found this disturbing. I also had no recollection of the accident for months and for a week or two after waking up I had to be retold where I was and what had happened every time I dozed off and woke up. I had no idea where I was and I thought I was 23, not 27 for months. I also had a really hard time recognizing faces. Like I would see people I knew that I knew but I couldn't remember why or their names or anything. They would just look familiar. One time a while, about a month, after I had woken up my parents took me in my hospital bed for a walk in the courtyard of the hospital. We passed a large mirror in the lobby and I freaked out. I saw my reflection and I knew it was me because I recognized my parents pushing the bed but I didn't recognize my own face. There were no injuries to my face or anything I just didn't recognize myself. It also blew my mind that I had gone into the coma in late winter and there was quite a bit of snow on the ground and when I woke up it was spring and there was no snow. I had the large window in my hospital room. The news that shocked me the most was the fact that my parents had gone in and packed up my entire apartment. Like I mentioned, I was super private and the idea that they went in there and boxed up all my stuff and gave up my lease was hard to grasp. Obviously it made sense but I was troubled by it. Open to questions. I don't know if this counts because it was only three weeks but I was so shaken when someone put on the TV and it was a newsreel about a festival in a town over. I wasn't even going to go. I just felt so weird because this was still like three weeks away you know? This can't be on TV. Did I just miss three whole weeks? Ow garbage. WTF happened? I was in a coma. Oh. Oh yeah something bad happened to me. What happened? Explosion? I'm not going into the details of the accident, but it was an explosion on the work floor that threw a piece of metal straight towards me. Tried to catch it at my arms and then my face. Didn't catch it it. The wall did though and it had a huge hole in it. Still don't get how I didn't die that day. I destroyed my upper and lower jaw. My arm. Pinky and burned most of my limbs. Mostly second degree so that wasn't really the problem is your problem was the jaws and the arm is your my jaws were completely shattered into more than a hundred pieces. The doctor told me he had to put pieces of bone in random places because he couldn't find the right spot that came from is your lost most of my teeth. About three quarters of the is your my lower lip was ripped off and was just hanging by one blood vessel and a few nerves. After 10 years I still don't have all feeling back but that's the new normal so I don't really notice anymore, and the arm was broken on the lower half. Both bones snapped like little trees and one of the bones sticking out of a gaping wound. Fun times. When I was a kid I was messing around in our house that was under construction. I fell through the open floor to the floor below. My brother saw me land on my head and called 911. I woke up the next day watching TV and eating Teddy Grahams in the hospital. Then I don't remember anything until a few days later when I was at home. My parents said I was never unconscious because I was complaining the entire time and I was able to eat and use the restroom on my own. But I don't remember a thing. I'm colorblind where I have a hard time seeing green. It comes across as blue, gray, or brown most of the time. 
Yellow and purple are also hard for me. I didn't actually realize I was colorblind for a few years. I found out that the type 1 half can be caused by head injury. I'm not one, but when my husband came out of a long period of unconsciousness in the hospice he thought that the footstool was a dog and kept patting it. We all played along and called it a good boy for the rest of the time there. There, laid to the thread. Wife was in this medically induced coma, which is really just heavy sedatives and paralytics for 13 days. She had complications from a bilateral lung transplant. The hardest part for her was she had very realistic dreams during where she went home and came back to the hospital. So the first few times they woke her up, reducing the medications to check for neurological function. She was fairly panicked, so I got in the habit of telling her the daytime and location each time they woke her, letting her know she was safe. It was extra hard on her as she was on a ventilator and restrained so she couldn't communicate what she wanted to know. Interestingly we were able to often tell what part of the dream responded to different events of her stay in the ICU, that was in February. She still sometimes has to ask if things she remembers really happened or if they were part of the dreams. Good news she's home now. Nearly fully recovered with just some mild kidney problems that are getting better and some neuropathy in her left leg. She's able to walk with a walker and do a lot of things on her own again. Does three weeks count as a long time? I was in a motorcycle accident, was out for three weeks. Woke up as the person I am today. Not really as the person before. Although I have a few of his memories. Found out that my hippocampus was darnaged so that it counted for the memory loss. I woke up remember a lot of school stuff and things I read before but had a very hard time. Remembering, knowing people. Didn't totally recognize my dad had no idea who my mom was. I was apparently dating a really pretty girl, but I have no idea who she was. No memory of her. We tried to make it work but it was too weird. The old me was too different from the new me. And I felt no connection to her. I did become really good at philosophy and logic after I woke up. Ended up going to college to study it. Got a year left before I can lecture in it as well. So I guess that's a plus, it's still weird sometimes, people will approach me and greet me. They know so much about me, but I have no idea who they are. I usually have to explain to them what happened. And things get a little weird sometimes. But usually end up making, remaking a friend, edit. Good lord this blew up. I'm going through all of the replies now. Trying to reply to everyone in a timely manner. Edit 2, wow silver. Whoever out there was so kind to give me this silver. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd get something as nifty as this. Definitely made my day. Edit 3. OMG another silver. You guys are really nice thank you so much. And don't mind asking question at all I love talking with everyone. I like the challenge of trying to explain it all. Edit 4. And a gold. Whoever blessed me with that gold thank you so much. I'll be sure to pay it forward. My grandpa's biggest shock waking from a coma was the news he wasn't in Spain. He was hit by a car near his house, England. And a lot of the nurses in ITU were Spanish and he caught their accent and thinks they sometimes spoke to each other in Spanish. They aren't meant to. We don't care. He had excellent care. And maybe when he started opening his eyes briefly he saw their skin tone. He couldn't understand how he had got to Spain. When he was coming around he was getting distressed. We kept telling him he was okay. He was in hospital and the tube was helping him breath. We forgot to share the news you have not left the country. He was also shocked to find his feet hadn't been amputated. His feet and ankles weren't injured. About the only bit of him which wasn't. But somehow in the coma he thought they were. When fully conscious he was shocked at the football results. Not me, but my niece was in a medically induced coma for three weeks after doing meth and frying her heart. She says that she could remember hearing her mom and dad in the room during a couple points. 
in that her anesthesia was lightened at about one week and as an attempt to wake her up, she was aware of it but didn't become conscious. She said that it was like being underwater so you can sort of hear what people are saying but not fully understand. She was extremely surprised and confused when she finally came to and couldn't believe that she was out for so long. The last thing she remembers was snorting what she thought was coke and then her boyfriend calling 911. She is insanely lucky to be alive, but will live with consequences of this for the rest of her life. She has permanent darnage to her heart and will likely die if she does anything like that again.